Hi, we are back with another installment of Video Tutorials for Mojo Portal brought to you by Arvix. Today we're going to cover how to create a new user in your Mojo Portal website. The reason this is important is that users can be restricted to specific rights and roles within your Mojo Portal application. For instance, you can divide your users by department, but if, if you're working with a small to medium sized business, uh, you can uh, have users that are premium subscribers if your business model for your website is uh, revenue generation. So this becomes very relevant when you want to be able to limit access to specific content based on revenue, security, etc. So let's get started. We'll go ahead and sign in to our local instance here for as you can see we're using one of the default themes from Mojo Portal and we'll go ahead and just log in. Now uh, you'll notice that here at the bottom we have the, the gray administration bar and we'll click on administration. Now you see that we have we're accessing the administration section and you'll notice that we have a icon here that's labeled add new user. Can't get much simpler than that. We're going to create a display name um, John Doe user ID John Doe email address we'll go ahead and just Now bear in mind you can set any password you like and you can t click this tick right here to indicate whether or not they have to change it on their first login or not depending on what works best for you and your organization. And you can uh, whatever security question, security answer works for you. Just be aware that the security answer is context sensitive so whatever answer you enter be sure that you use uh, something that's easy for the client to remember. So, as you can see, initially we only have one tab, Identity Security. We'll go ahead and create the user. And you'll notice that once we've created the user, we have a whole lot more tabs to look at. We have our profile. And this is more relevant if your site also contains uh, content such as forums, which are built into Mojo Portal. Uh, or any other sort of the premium plugins that are provided by MojoPortal.com. Uh, the default icon that's provided through Mojo Portal is powered by Gravatar, which is a third party. As you'll see when you click on the icon, you can set up your Gravatar profile, which means the same picture icon is used wherever Gravatar has been implemented, which you'll find is actually pretty convenient after a little bit. It helps cut down on the amount of time that it takes to set up profiles for various sites. But, as you can see, profile, uh, various content, it is possible to add new fields and such through the config file in Mojo Portal, but we'll cover that a different day. Newsletters. If you've got newsletters set up for your website, you can choose of from one of those newsletters whether or not this particular user should receive any of them and whether they should receive them as HTML or plain text. Role membership, that's when, where we start getting interesting. Uh, as you can see there's default administrator, content administrator, content authors, content publishers, newsletter administrators, and role administrators. I've also added accounting users. As you can see we've got an accounting tab. This allows me to say this user is an accounting user. We'll add that to the accounting users role which means that they'll have access to the accounting section. This is really handy for intranets or uh, websites that have premium content that are specific to a right or role that you want to create to uh, be able to ensure that that content is secure and provided only to the users that belong to this particular role. User activity. This is really handy too. That way you can see um, how often they've posted, when they've signed in, uh, the 
password change last lockout if they've got any other issues going on you can also put com comments here this is really relevant if you've got a website that actually has the forum implemented and you may have some users that are your power users you may have users that are a little problematic and you want to keep an eye out for it this is also relevant the uh, user location once this user is logged in Mojo Portal automatically uh, logs the IP address of the computer they use to log in. Where this comes in handy, if you've got one login for one user for premium content and say you're starting to notice IP addresses from multiple locations that can't be explained by uh, whether the, the person's logging in from home or work. Say you've got, log, you've got 20 different IP addresses from a large geographic region. You can pretty well figure out that people are sharing a login that they shouldn't and that will give you the ability to lock down this user uh, using the lock user button. So lots of really good features here just for creating the new user and being able to manage what they see, how they see it. Another tab that you don't see here yet but that you would once a e-commerce st web store m module has been added to the site is purchase history which is really handy if you want to be able to uh, update uh, say for instance you have software plugins or something that you have sold through the Mojo Portal web store and you want to be able to provide upgrades on a regular basis all the user has to do is go to their user history and they'll see a link that allows them to download the latest and greatest wh of whatever they have previously purchased, which is really great for the user. One last thing to consider about adding as a user is there are times that you also have to remove a user. Say it's an employee who's no longer working with the company, a customer who is no longer a customer for whatever reason. And of course you can click the delete button for the user profile and, and that takes care of it. But one thing you want to keep in mind, and we'll bounce over to administration and site settings. There is a setting to really delete users. Do we really, really, really want to delete the user? And you'll notice if unchecked, deleting users flags them as deleted instead of really deleting them. So if we uncheck that means that there is a bit in the Mojo Portal database that just flags a user as no longer active. As, uh, that way, and this comes in handy if for whatever reason you want to be able to reactivate a user at a later point in time or if you need to keep a record of their transaction history uh, through the e-commerce store, through the forum, or anything else that you're needing to keep a record of by user. So, as you can tell, there's a lot of really robust functionality here in Mojo Portal for being able to add a user and manage your site for users by roles. So, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Look forward to our next time. Again, this is the Mojo Portal video tutorial brought to you by Arvix. Thanks and have a great day.